back to another travel vlog. This time we're headed to Italy, our first stop on the summer Euro trip. Luckily, we managed to carry all this luggage and my wedding dress across the world without any mishaps. Hi! <laughs> Made it to Rome. I'm so excited to be here for Tyler and I's wedding trip. I might be all over the place in these intro um, clips because I am a little bit jet lag right now, but I wanted to make it easy on us. So I made a very detailed itinerary. So we're just gonna follow this so there's not a lot of like decisions that need to be made. So it should be a fun, easy day. Can't wait to see just like all the little back streets. And I'll show you this look I put together. I did very quick makeup after we got here. I just had like a quick shower. This is subtly Sophia Loren inspired in the eyes. Hair is just whatever came out of the bun. And look at this dress. It is wrinkled and we can't find an iron. <laughs> what can you do? This is Unica Suites Hotel and you can book hotels on planning.com. You can create a free account and get great discounts like up to 40% off hotels. In this tiny little elevator. <laughs> this hotel wasn't perfect, but the area was, so definitely check out the link down below for more hotels in this walkable area close to the Trevi Fountain, Metro, and Spanish Steps. Update, I'm hangry. We just took the metro and we're gonna go get pizza, I hope. Paragoni? Paragon. Paragon. Mm. We don't Different really know what this is, but it looks good. Okay, I'll show them. A tip if you're visiting Vatican City, a lot of tourists will be giving out misinformation like at the front of it about what line to go in out of pure confusion, so always just ask a staff member. Sometimes tourists listening to other tourists is a bit of a nightmare. There's stunning artwork, sculptures, including masterpieces by Michelangelo. So look at it, it's really not that packed. We came right at close, pretty much. It was such a good experience. So we just went to the Vatican Museum and now we're in the Vatican Gardens, which I think is my favorite part. We did walk through and do the Sistine Chapel, but I do think I feel pod because I'm wearing this cute little number and I definitely didn't look up beforehand or anything, but you're supposed to cover your shoulders. So they gave me this. It was just for the Sistine Chapel, That's like nice the actual them. chapel. Yeah, very high quality, a uh, nice little shawl, but I think you're just supposed to cover your shoulders. So don't be like me, but this house is from House of CD. <laughs> this dress is what did I say? This house. This dress is from house. And I got slight heat for posting these on Instagram. I kind of joke, this is my Vatican slay look. <laughs> it's my controversial moment. First touristy gelato. I got lemon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another travel tip if you're going to several different places in Italy, get cacio e pepe if you're a fan of it in Rome because in Sorrento at least it wasn't on the menu a lot. In early morning we're headed to the Trevi Fountain hopefully before it gets busy. This is our street the hotel's on. We hear the fountain! We're so excited! This is like one of my favorite views of all time. I feel like that's with everybody. Oh, I said I feel like, see? Yeah, you said that. I say it too much. Oh my gosh, it's coming! Yes, we should! Okay, yeah, let's wish good marriage. Where do we toss it? Ready? One, two, three. I don't think I even got in it! I missed! Wait, wait. You gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. Okay, wait, here you They'll be throwing it. I don't know which shoulder we do. Ready? Throw it. Did you fall? Yeah, I don't care. That's ours. Yeah. I'm not turning around. It's definitely as gorgeous as I remember it. Look at this building. It's already filling up. We came at 6:30. About seven now. Dirty part. Everywhere's closed, so we had to get McDonald's, but it looks pretty good here. Cornetto. Let's see what's inside. Pistachio. And we came back and absolutely crashed. We thought we would wake up at around 12 and go do lunch, but it's about three, so a bit of a late start to the day, but we're gonna go do some more sightseeing. I just put my hair in a little bow. Oh, I wanna show my favorite sunscreen that I've been using too. This is my favorite. It smells so good. I mix in a little bit of bronzer sometimes to it as well. There's the view outside. <laughs> Ooh, it's so warm. Switched over the bag. No Chanel. I know, too much stress to carry around a Chanel bag. <laughs> this one's so cute. Tyler got me this one. It's gotten a lot more lively now that it's actually daytime. I just met a follower from Bulgaria. Like, what are the odds? That was so cool. She was so sweet. Oh, it's all filled up. Look at everybody. Oh, it's so gorgeous in the light though. This is so random. So we don't have a cake topper and we're a little tempted. After we traveled around Italy, it turned out Rome was the most expensive for souvenirs. There's a lot of the same lemon items that were honestly like half the price in some stores in Sorrento, but overall everything was totally reasonable.
was perfect. Piazza di Santa Maria. There's a guide feature on Planet, so I did put together my first guide featuring everything you see in this vlog. Wouldn't say I'm a travel expert, I just love to share my experiences, but there are travel experts with amazing itineraries. I'll be using the guides in the future to help with travel. our last morning in Rome and yesterday we really did the perfect day in Rome. We got up super early and went to the Trevi Fountain and pro tip, just find the influencers in the wild. Copy whatever they're doing because I know that I do do like makeup and content creation but I wouldn't say I'm like the best at finding light and like knowing how to pose and get all of the beautiful sculptures in the photo but we had definitely an IG mom help us take our photo and it looked really great. But now we're headed to pick up some souvenirs and then we're taking a bus no, we're taking a train to Seren. No, we're taking a train to Naples and then a ferry to Sorrento. Also, my luggage completely died when I put it in the checked bags, so I think I need to get a new one. I have been eyeing the Bricks Milano luggage. It is kind of crazy, but maybe I'll have to get it here. We got time on our side. When I stayed on. This one was super cute here. I'm putting these in little party favor bags as well as everybody gets a mini limoncello. And I got this bag and the kitchen in our next Airbnb has a tile print similar, so I think it'll be a really cute. There's a little hotel tour. This is at the end, so nothing's made up, but it was very clean. It's a coffee maker epic view and it was near everything only thing is the elevator only worked sometimes so we had to walk stairs which is totally fine but if it didn't work when we had our luggage that would have been a bit of a rough start to the trip the elevator situation is so tiny and hot and we're off Here we are entering beautiful Sorrento. This is where Tyler and I got married, so that'll be in the next one. I might just do a big main channel video slash vlog on my beauty channel, so stay tuned. But here's a look at the view from my parents' Airbnb who met us in Sorrento. Hey baby, 
Oh, you're so cute. Our place is far We had our own place with an amazing view. I cannot wait to give you a tour of this place. The sun is just going down now, but oh my gosh, you can see some of the kitchen tiles. We're heading into Sorrento and we're having a quick family dinner. And then tomorrow we're doing a photo shoot here. Initially, we were gonna go to some beautiful gardens, but when we came and saw this Airbnb like in person, you can't get better than this view. So we're just gonna do a photo shoot here and then also a wedding ceremony here as well. So I'm gonna wear my wedding look twice, uh, but it's gonna be great. We're gonna do both photo shoots in the golden hour. So it'll be very pretty. I'm so excited. Shivani's coming to take photos for us and um, can't wait for you to see all the details. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out planning.com and make a free account for hotel recommendations and so you don't miss out on discounts when you're booking your next trip and I'll see you in the wedding vlog.